Line it up. A football coach is part father figure. You ready to go? Yeah. You ready to go, dog? Part drill sergeant. Go, go, move! Been all the way through. Are you kidding me? So it is with Tyler Hildebrand, defensive line coach at Turpin High School. Move! Move! Fast, like fast, any coach, the 26-year-old Hildebrand can be a little rough around the edges. Rick, you gotta pay attention, kid. But this particular rough guy... To the sideline! Move! 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 ...can also be as smooth as the tip of a brush. I like to um, make it different. I like to put colors where there shouldn't, shouldn't be colors. I like to slant angles. Uh, things that make it a little more different that you can't do with a photograph. Coach Tyler Hildebrand is also artist Tyler Hildebrand. Painting since he was a kid, now doing it for a living here at Hildy's Gallery in Bellevue, Kentucky. And now, this artistic coach, or coaching artist, if you will, is living a dream because Tyler Hildebrand is now the artist for the most storied program in college football history, the Fighting Irish. I do envision Notre Dame when I'm doing this. Yeah, and, and I think about when I, I was on the field and, I, and looking around and kind of the feel that I get. So um, I definitely keep that in mind. Tyler's nine-foot-long mural hangs in the Notre Dame Athletics Building, a reminder of the Irish in Fighting Irish. There's seven Irish immigrants and then one uh, Notre Dame football player standing in the middle with number 11 on his chest for uh, the number of national championships they won. Tyler's art is also the cover of this year's media guide, Leather Helmets from the Past, the Stadium Tunnel of Today. We're bringing back the old, uh, the old fight and the Fighting Irish. But how did the man in Hildy's gallery become the artist for the storied tradition of Touchdown Jesus in the Golden Dome, particularly someone who did not exactly live or die with the Golden Blue? The most I knew about Notre Dame was Rudy, the movie Rudy. Enter Brian Kelly. I think one of the areas that uh, I was a bit surprised that, that, that we lacked as a team was an understanding of who we were and who we want to be. And enter Tyler Hildebrand. The Tyler Hildebrand Brian Kelly connection began last season when Kelly was the head coach here at the University of Cincinnati. Tyler painted a portrait of Kelly whom he had never met and donated that portrait to a charity auction. Well, guess who was at the auction, saw the portrait, liked it, and bought it. Bought other UC paintings and remembered Tyler Hildebrand when he moved to Notre Dame. Come on up, he said, and help me wake up the echoes. I did several different idea sketches. He, he kind of had an idea of what he wanted. He definitely wanted to convey the tough roots of Notre Dame. Let's get back to uh, understanding uh, the great tradition, who we are, how we play the game. The roots, Rockney, the four horsemen, the players, and the fans who turned a small Catholic college in Indiana into America's college football team. We kind of decided that the best way to do that would be through uh, old, tough, uh, blue-collar Irish immigrants. But without any old-time railroaders or pipe fitters near his studio to model, Tyler became each of the characters, painting, in effect, himself. I started posing for the pictures. My fiance got sick of taking pictures of me in all these weird uh, poses with sledgehammers. But it worked, and so did the poses for the media guide cover, the defensive line coach becoming a leather-hatted ball carrier from the days of the Gipper. And now, the artist who never knew or cared much about the Fighting Irish is already planning another mural for Coach Kelly. I hope so. He, he said, uh, last time I was up there, he said the next one's a national championship. It shouldn't be hard, just one little modification. I told him I'm going to change the level as well. Yep. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12.